Rocksteady created the very well known and very well loved, except for a couple, uh, <laughs> Batman Arkham games. And if rumor is to be believed, they're making a Superman game. So there's a lot of potential here, and there's a lot of potential to go wrong. Because as we talked about, the most maligned Superman game um, from the Nintendo 64 era exists and was hated by yeah, all. Right, that's one of the, so what's what could be exciting about this is that Rocksteady has made some terrific games. The The first Arkham Asylum is it's one of- It's a masterpiece. Of, it's a masterpiece. It's a, it's a really, really amazing game. There has yet, I think, to be a great Superman game. Uh, Superman 64, terrible. The idea is like, oh, we'll put Superman in a virtual reality world and make him less powered. I'm old enough to remember the old Atari 2600 Superman game, which is also kind of terrible. Was it made around the era they made E.T. and they uh, were just like slapping anything in there? Yeah, pretty really much. Trying. And it's like incomprehensible and it's not very good. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I can see where there would be issues with a Superman game because Superman, Superman is too powerful. With Batman, I mean with the Arkham Batman games, we got this cool kind of strategic gameplay where you loop around and you use his tools in different ways and you figure it out because you're the world's greatest detective. And that's fun. But Superman's a little bit different. Though it would make more sense because Batman has this sense that you can cl click on, which is very similar to the Assassin's Creed uh, sense where you can have more knowledge about the world around you. Right. It doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, there was a Hulk game from a few years back that I think was on, if I remember correctly, it might have been a PlayStation 2 game where it was, it was the action was pretty solid because it would set you up with, with adversaries that were roughly at a same power level. So I think that's going to be the trick with a Superman game. But mm -hmm. in an environment where so many games you know that you can... Especially with Superman, like you, it's like, well, what if I want to pick up a building and smash somebody with it? Like, mm -hmm. are you are you gonna do? Well, I mean, according to some rumors, there's a semi-destructible environment, okay. which means maybe Superman could pull um, a Man of Steel and just be a huge baby and destroy everything and not care about human life. Yeah, you almost want to see. <laughs> I mean, this would be the wrong way to do it, but you almost want to see like the really philosophical, like, okay, Superman, you only really have the ability to save two or three of these. You know, maybe two of these three imminent disasters and set it up like a simulation, kind uh, of like, what's the moral quandary? What's gonna be oh, the least? <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. It, it seems to be, according to rumor, set in Metropolis, but I would say that's the most likely place for it to be. Because, Probably. I mean, Batman was set in Arkham, and then Hugo Strange made a massive prison, and then it was Gotham, and then they had that stupid car which made me not finish Arkham Knight, I don't want to play in the Batmobile. And well, it's not even the Batmobile, it's like the Bat Tank, <laughs> which I was furious about because there's nothing strategic about driving a freaking tank around. Uh, not but I digress. In line with Batman. No, no you're right. it doesn't make sense for Batman. Don't give him a gun and don't give him a tank. Uh, yeah, but the Tumblr was cool. <laughs> fine. That's not what it was. Okay. <laughs> so for Superman, I mean, you could take it a few different ways. I don't know which Superman story they would like to borrow notes from. Uh, the rumor is Brainiac is the villain. Yeah, okay, rumor I could see that. Um, I don't know how much Lex Luthor would play into this, though I would be shocked if he didn't play into it at all. I don't know, I mean, in Batman, in Batman's games, you could switch into other characters sometimes. There were Catwoman levels, and there were uh, Nightwing levels. Right, that could be an interesting aspect, right? Whereas if Batman is, or I'm sorry, if Superman has to get to, like as part of his mission, maybe he has to rely on the people around him and the people he knows, like maybe Lois has to do some investigating or. That would be fun actually, because I would bring back some of the puzzle aspects from Batman. Right. That we like. I don't know what Jimmy could do. Take pictures of stuff. Uh, I mean, I'd rather be Lois than Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but you know, you could have, I mean, you could do, I mean, look, you saw it in uh, Beyond Good and Evil, you saw it in uh, some of the, in, I think was, was it Wind Waker, where one of the side quests is you had to take pictures of things. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and that's how you earned, I think, in that one, how you earned one of the bottles. Okay. Yeah. If I, remember I don't remember that, but sure. Maybe. I believe you. Okay. Um, I mean, there's also, there's more opportunities for Clark Kent to be in this. Bruce Wayne was barely in the Batman games. Uh, it was more about Batman. Right. Yeah, I don't know that I necessarily want to play Clark Kent. But he could figure out where some stuff's happening around town and ha be or bullied by Lois, maybe. just use your x-ray vision and 
Let's see just where things are happening. Just use your OP, overpowered right. powers, and uh, figure everything out in one go. Audience, how do you make a good Superman game? It's almost an impossible question, but Rocksteady might be able to solve it. Can you? Please let us know your ideas on Facebook and Twitter.